Hello, so welcome back to our discussion regarding the electrical installation and maintenance. So this time, nandito na tayo sa lesson number 3, which is the system of measurement. Okay, so the objectives for today's lesson is you should be, you should be able to uh, uh, use appropriate measuring devices for specific tasks and compute for the required data. Okay, so we have this system of Measurement. Are you familiar with this wheel? Ito ang tinatawag natin international standard of measurement. So, we have the kilogram, the meter, uh, second, di ba? Meron tayong mole, meron tayong kilometer, ano pa? At iba't ibang uri pa ng units. So, the system of measurement is a set of units which can be used to specify anything that can be measured. So, lahat ng bagay na nasa paligid natin ay pwedeng-pwede natin sukatin. Ang katawan natin, sinusukat, ang pader, diba? ang upuan, ang lamesa, pwede natin siyang sukatin. Maging ang distansya mula sa bahay na papunta sa paaralan ay pwedeng-pwede natin sukatin. Diba? Halos lahat ng bagay na maisip nyo ay meron tayo patumbas na panupat para sa mga yun. Okay? So, first we have the linear measures. So, first is the English system of measurement. So, these are the example of a English system measurement. We have the foot, the inch, mile, gallon, pound, minute, and the second. So, ano ba meron sa English system? So, it provides the creative way on how people can measure by themselves. For example, people can measure shorter distances on the ground by their feet. And they measure long distances by their palms, which is equal to a yard. Diba kapag tayo ay namimili ng tela sa palengke o sa, kung sa anong lugar man, diba ang ginagamit natin dyan ay yarda. Yung iba naman ay gamit ay dipa. Diba? So gamit ang ating katawan, pwede natin sukatin ng anumang bagay. Diba? Meron tayong dinatangkal, meron tayong sinusukat pa di pa natay sinusukat pa yarda gamit ang ating katawan ba kung hindi man available lang mga tools and instrument na applicable para sukatin ang mga bagay na iyon so sa Pilipinas sa madalas nating ginagamit na panukat ay itong English system while sa ibang bansa mas common nilang gamitin ang metric system ba sa metric system uh, it is a decimalized system of measurement so, it exists in the several variations with different choices of base units. So, metric units are widely used around the world for personal, commercial, and scientific purpose. So, these are the examples of metric system. The meter, the centimeter, kilometer, liter, kilogram, minute, and second. Mapapansin nyo, merong meter sa bawat dulo. So, that is the metric system. Okay. So, English units and its equivalent. So, sa English units, meron tayong tinatawag na 12 inches. Ang 12 inches, ang katumbas niya sa isang foot or feet ay 1. Diba? Kung papansin nyo, ang ruler, kung susukating nyo siya, iyan ay katumbas ng 12 inches. Diba? Ang katumbas ng 12 inches ay 1 foot o isang paa. Diba? Kapag tayo ay naglalaro sa kalsada dati at tayo ay magguguhit at bibilangin natin kung gano'ng kalayo ang point A to point B, ginagamit natin ng ating paa. Diba? Sa swimming pool, meron tayong tinatawag na 1 foot, uh, 2 feet, 4 feet, 5 feet, 7 feet, diba? So, yan ay English step. Okay? Next one, we have 1 foot is equivalent to 3 yards. So, tatlong yarda. At ang isang yarda ay katumbas naman niya ay 36 inches. So, para mas madali tayo mag-convert from one unit to another, kailangan familiar tayo doon sa basic uh, equivalence ng bawat units na ito. Pagay na lang itong inches to foot, foot to yard, and yard to inches. Okay? Next one, we have the metric units and each equivalent. Ang 10 millimeter ay patumbas ng 1 cm. Okay? Mas maliit ang millimeter sa centimeter. At ang isang cent ang 10 cm patumbas naman niya ay decimeter. At ang 10 decimeter ang patumbas naman niya ay isang 
metro. Okay, so these are the meet, uh, metric units and each equivalent. Okay. Next, so in English to metric equivalent. So we have one each is equals to 2.54 centimeters. We have one foot is equals to 30.8 centimeters. And one yard is equivalent to 91.44 centimeters. Okay, so in order to convert anything from one unit to another, we need to be familiarized with the basic conversions, just like this one. Okay, ba? So let's all move on to the centimeter graduation. So ito ay as alimbawa na isang ruler na kung saan ginagamit niya ay uh, centimeter. Okay? So, ang isang guhit na maliit na yan ay katumbas o isang graduation na kagaya nito ay katumbas ng 0.5 mm. At ang mahaba naman ay katumbas ng 1 mm. Diba? So, bumilang tayo ng 10, magkakaroon tayo ng isang sentimetro o 1 cm. Halimbawa, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Ah, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 10 millimeters or equivalent to 1 centimeter. Okay, so paano naman ito nanging 25 millimeter or 2.5 cm? Diba? So nandito tayo sa 2 centimeters, so bibilang tayo papunta dito sa kitna. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 20 plus 5 is equal to so 25 millimeters. Kung ikaw convert natin siya sa meat, sa centimeter, mag-move lang tayo at magiging 2.5 centimeter na siya. Okay, so this is how to read the centimeter graduation. But the first graduation is 0.5 millimeters, the second is 1, this one is the 1.5, and the fourth one, fourth graduation is equals to 2 millimeters. So note that if the graduation reach 10 mm or millimeters, it is now equivalent to 1 centimeter. Okay, so that is the metric or meter graduation. Next, the inch graduation naman. So madalas natin ito nakikita sa mga foot roll or roller na meron tayo. So how to read inch graduation? So first graduation is equivalent to 1 and 16. Next one, the second graduation is equal be, uh, equivalent to 1 8 inch. The third is 3 16. The fourth one is 1 4 inches. Then follow the given scale above. Okay, sa so mapapansin nyo, yung maliliit na line na yan, maliliit na graduation na yan, ang kanyang over ay 16th while yung matataas ay naglalaro between the 8th, the 4th and the half okay so that is an inch graduation so let's now convert the unit of measurement from English to metric and vice versa so example we have 12 inches convert natin siya sa 12 ay sa uh, centimeter. Okay? So, paano natin gagawin? In 12 inches, ano ba equivalent ng 12 inches sa centimeter? So, we have 12 inches it is equal to 2.54 centimeter. So, we need to cross out this inch. Yung magkaparehas, kinocross natin siya. Then, ayan, cancel the common unit and apply cross multiplication. Once na-cancel na natin, magkakaroon na tayo na 12 times 2.54 cm over 1. So, basic uh, operation, perform the indicated operation. 12 times 2.54 is equals to 30.48 cm. Diba? So, mababaliwala na yung 1 kasi kapag i-divide mo siya, ganito rin naman ang lalabas. So, the answer is 12 inches is equals to 30.48 centimeters. Okay? Let's have another one, 6 feet inches. So, same process. Since 6 feet is equal to 12 inches over 1 feet, for what foot? 
So, i-convert, uh, i-cancel out natin yung feed. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 6 times 12 over 1, magiging 72 inches. So, therefore, 6 feet is equivalent to 72 inches. Okay? So, let's have another quiz. So, direction using any measuring tools, read the actual measurement of the given examples, and write your answer on the space provided. Okay? So, this will be your take-home activity, uh, and send your answers on our chat box. Okay? So, example, we have the dining table. Diba? So, cutting nyo siya in centimeters. So, anong pwedeng gamitin tool na panukat dito? Kaya tayong gumamit ng push-pull rule. Sa height ng cabinet, ganun din. Height ng door and height ng window or pintana. Okay? So, you can send your answers on our chat box na lang. Okay? So, before we end our lesson, so this is a quotation for you to ponder. Push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. And that's it for our lesson for today. See you on our next video. Thank you.